Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for simonsaysstamp.com and I have a funny Friday card today. This one is using the pop-up giraffe from Art Impressions. I'm going to show you the card first because it's super fun. So on the outside I've done some flowers and it just looks like a regular card and I think this is super fun to do because it just looks like a really sweet card. And then when you open it up, this giraffe unfolds and pops up. And the way I've created this is that he has a wreath of flowers that he pops out of and it matches the front of the card. So I'm going to get started and show you how I did this. I have worked ahead and have done a lot of my coloring and watercoloring so I can show you how the construction of the card works because that's the important part for this pop-up. So the outside of my card I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Freelance Flowers and I've just stamped those with fog ink and I used my watercolors to color those in. For the inside of the card in the stamp set there's this little wreath and I have also stamped that with fog ink, watercolored it, and then used the die to cut that out. And I have stamped an additional little flower just to add to the inside. For my giraffe I'm using the Art Impressions Giraffe Pop-Up and this has the giraffe and some other images to it plus it has the die included. So on the stamp set you get your main giraffe, there's also a couple greetings and then there's a coffee cup and a wine glass that you can add to his hands if you want. And I have stamped and colored my giraffe and I want to show you the die. So I've used the die to cut it out. So it cuts out a regular outline around the whole body. But inside there are score lines and there are several that are going to score at the same time. So those are really important. I ran this through a couple times so I could get a really good score line and I have already folded my giraffe a few times, but I'll show you the easiest way I found to do this. Your main fold is going to be the center fold, and this is the first one you'll want to do. So just go ahead and crease that. You can run your fingers or your bone folder down and crease that. The next one was to flip up the body and to give that a good crease as well. And as you work through, you'll find the other pieces that are the next to go ahead and fold up. And I just wanted to mention I stamped this with 80 pound Nina White cardstock and I used my Copic markers to color it. So the last two creases that you'll want to make, you'll do this from the back and just give those a little pinch. And once I start pressing everything together, you can see where I can flatten that out to where it will sit inside the card. Before I glue anything down, I want to dry fit this into the inside of my card. So I'm feeding that giraffe into my wreath. And I want to figure out how high up. This giraffe can actually hang off the top of the card because when it folds down, it's going to fold over to the side. So I want to make sure that when I place this wreath on top, I'm going to put my finger down and try to shut the card. I want to make sure that it's not hampering any of the folding that I need for that giraffe to do. And if it does, I'll just continue to adjust it just to make sure none of those leaves or flowers are in the way of any of those folds. Next, I'm using Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and I'm just gluing on the bottom portion, so that bottom part of the body. I don't want to glue any other portions of the fold, so I'm making sure I have a really good amount and I'll place this right into the center. There's a little cut up the body, a little bit of a V. You'll see the score line of your note card in between. And the next thing is to pinch this off a little bit, flip it over, and make sure the center crease of the giraffe is matching up with the center crease of your note card. I've let my glue dry a little bit and I'm ready to add the wreath and I'm just going to shut this. You can see how he folds up and goes right to the side and out of sight from the top. I'm doing another dry fit and this time I'm marking where I want my crease to be so I can fold my wreath in half. And once you have that marked, use your bone folder and your scoreboard to make a crease. I'll give it one more test closing before I glue anything in place and I'm using my craft tacky glue once again. And I'm just going around and adding glue in drops so I can tack this down in place. I'll be stamping a message on the inside. I'm using my Misty. I've put a little piece of paper towel over my giraffe just to make sure that it doesn't get any excess ink from my dirty door onto the giraffe. So I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and I'm stamping Sending You Happiness just to the right bottom side of my giraffe and wreath. Next I'm adding the wine glass to one of the hooves and I'm just adding some Simon Says Stamp Craft Glue 
just to the hoof and now I can place the glass right on top. You can add anything to the hands as long as they don't interfere with that center fold, so adding a small object is just perfect. And to finish this card off, I am adding that single flower just above my greeting, so it kind of pulls the eye to the right. Here's a look at the finished front. I did end up using a piece of twine tied in a bow to keep the card closed, and I love how it looks just like a regular card, and the recipient won't know what's going on until they open it and find this silly looking giraffe popping out from a wreath of flowers holding a cocktail. So I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have, and I have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with a link to our blog post. And as always, thanks so much for watching.